Welcome or welcome back, Cyber Explorers. It's Alfie, and in this video we'll explore together with this step-by-step -step guide how to adjust the DHCP range in your router. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Adjusting the DHCP range on your router can help manage IP address assignments more efficiently. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to help you out. Access your router settings, open a web browser and enter your router's IP address, often something like 192.168.1.1 or 192.168.0.1 into the address bar. Log in with your admin username and password, often something like admin and admin. Our video on how to find the IP address of your router and Windows and Linux systems might help you. The link is in the description below. Note, you might also find the IP address of your router on a sticker on the router. Additionally, you might find the username and password to log in to your router settings there, or they may be in the router manual. Navigate to DHCP settings. Look for a section labeled LAN or network settings. Within this section, find the DHCP settings. Adjust the DHCP range. You'll see fields for the DHCP start and end IP addresses. Change these to set the range of IP addresses that your router will assign to devices on your network. On some routers, you might find fields labeled starting IP address an IP count pool. Here's how to adjust these settings. Starting IP address, enter the IP address where you want the DHCP range to start. For example, you might enter 192.168.1.3. IP count pool, enter the number of IP addresses you want to be available in the pool. For example, if your starting IP address is 192.168.1.3 and your IP count pool is 101, the order will assign IP addresses from 192.168.1.3 to 192.168.1.103. This means the DHCP server will only assign addresses within this range, leaving the rest available for static assignments or other purposes. Save your changes after adjusting the range. Make sure to save your settings. Restart your order to ensure the changes take effect restart your router. And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and don't forget to activate the notification bell so you won't miss out on any new uploads. Thank you for watching. Until next time, see you later.